Hi, my name is Sharla and I'm here today with Brian from Eros by Sage Industrial. And we get a lot of frequently asked questions. One that is very popular right now is what is the difference between bipolar ionization and Eros? All right, so bipolar ionization or needlepoint bipolar ionization is, is, tech, is a technology that's using a voltage to create negative and positive ions. And those negative and positive ions are basically interrupting basic the protein surface of uh, pathogens and so it's basically rendering them inactive. Um, it's an effective technology, mostly applied in duct. Um, I have seen it where they'll put hoods over product in, in various applications, but what it's doing uh, by releasing these ions into the environment is treating the air that's nearby. So the ions only last for milliseconds is the problem. So if you don't have a high enough airflow rate, if the, uh, the, the bipolar ionization uh, device isn't close enough to the surfaces you're trying to treat, you're not going to get that surface treatment. So it's a good technology. It does produce uh, an output, let's say, that can reach farther than the purifier, but its distance is really limited. Um, they, uh, their claim to fame, obviously, is they don't produce ozone and they don't, you know, uh, they're, they're an energy efficient solution. Well, their energy takes a whole lot more energy than our energy, so we're more energy efficient and we can reach far distances. We have units that can treat millions of cubic feet, whereas uh, bipolar ionization technology is limited a lot of times. Uh, we're seeing like eight feet or less. So there's a, a lot of times you have to use a lot of the device compared to one device that we may put in the same size room. So there's, there's definitely good parts to the ionization. We actually have ion, ionization that happens in our chamber as well. So through the non-thermal plasma, a lot of them will say they have a plasma, they're not really plasma based. Um, but our non-thermal plasma does create reactive oxygen and ions uh, as well that will go and, and make it some distance down the duct if it's applied into a duct, but it's not going to, the ions don't last long enough. What lasts long enough is our ozone. Really low levels of ozone, really low levels of the dry hydrogen peroxide or gas phase hydrogen peroxide goes into the environment and that's where the trioxidane forms and that's where we get our surface uh, kill. So the, uh, the main difference is they have some distance, some surface treatment, as long as it's local to what you're trying to treat. Whereas we can treat anything in the room. So.